going on YouTube, GS9 right here. Today I have great news for those of you waiting for a jailbreak on iOS 15.0 all the way up to 15.2 beta 1. A jailbreak component has been released and this can be used in order to update both Uncover and Taurin. This video is brought to you by Anytrans, a software that allows you to drag and drop files directly from your computer to your device. Check it out in the link below. Also thank you to the people who are supporting this channel on Patreon, they are right now on your screen. So just a couple of hours ago Teamstar posted this quote I love how jailbreaking became more and more a community effort everyone adds that little piece of puzzle that he or she can or want to do and at the end everyone profits from all the collab work here are stable iOS 15.1.1 kernel read and write and they posted this link to the github repo which is basically based on the exploit that was released a week or so ago and this one is basically containing the kernel read and write primitives if you go ahead in here on the exploit part you can see exactly everything related to the exploit by real bridey app and then of course you have all the code in common and stuff like that you have kernel read write in here and these can be used in order to update both taurine and uncover now it's very likely that both the taurine developers basically coolstar and their team and uncover being pawned on and their team already have those primitives or are already building their own but those are publicly available now and can definitely be used for those who need them now teamstar says it would work on 15.1.1 i'm not sure if they're just using this version here because it's the latest supported if you exclude basically the beta or because it only works on 15.1.1 though I wouldn't see why it would work only on 15.1.1 so those may actually work on 15.0 to 15.2 beta 1 with no problem. So if a jailbreak gets released with this exploit and those primitives it would basically support 15.0, 15.0.1 all the way up to 15.2 beta 1. 15.2 beta 1 also would be a little bit problematic on A12 plus but 15.1 and 15.1.1 should be supported so yeah pretty good news it seems that more and more components are being released as we know Coolstar is indeed working in the background on updating their tools either Torin or Odyssey or Electra no matter how they want to call it but they are working in the background however there are some issues with the A12 and newer devices especially after 15.1.1 so if you're running 15.1.1 do your best and do not update. So that's basically it. Definitely good progress. Thank you for watching. I'm Geos now and peace out.